long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with Welcome back to Proverbial Wisdom. So glad that you were joining us for these. So glad that you were allowing me to, to join you, to come into your home, to your office, to wherever you are, and spend these time, this time in God's Word. Go ahead and open to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 20. We looked at one verse yesterday, so let's pick up a few more verses today. Let's begin at verse 2, Proverbs 20 and verse 2. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. It is an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but if a man of understanding will draw it out. Many a man proclaims his own steadfast love, but a faithful man who can find? The righteous who walks in his integrity, the righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. A king who sits on the throne of judgment winnows all evil with his eyes. Let's just stop there. We'll start with the king and end with the king. As I look at this, what I'm seeing is you have people who are honored and you have people who are sluggards. Solomon is comparing and contrasting. He's, he's laying out some different observations of, of people in general. And he says, yes, you don't want to make a king mad. Now, that's an obvious thing. You don't want to get on the bad side of those who are in charge, whether that's an employee, a ruler, a, a president, whatever it might be. You want to try to stay doing the right thing and being on his good side. That doesn't mean being a yes man necessarily, but it does mean that in general speaking, in these observations of mankind that Solomon is making, that a king's wrath is not something to be, well, winked at. Um, and, and he's going to notice when you are doing what's wrong if he is a righteous king. Within those two statements of king verses two and verse of kings verses two and verse eight, there's that compare and contrast between those people who are people of honor and people who are people who are sluggards or slothful, as, as Solomon might say. It's an honor. It's wise to stay away from arguments. It's wise to keep aloof from strife. You know, we look at those who who we call aloof, and sometimes we look at them as being stuck on themselves, as being um, uncaring. It may be that they are very caring, but they are trying to stay away from those quarrels. And so I'm saying that there's some wisdom in that, in, in not putting yourself where you're always in a fight, because every fool will quarrel. So don't, excuse me, don't get into those type of things. The slugger doesn't plow an ottoman and and harvest, he's going to look, why don't I have food? There's something Solomon's saying about a work ethic. If you're going to want to eat later, you're going to have to prepare now. If you're going to want to have later, you're going to have to work now. Don't wait till you need it to try to earn the money to get it. Start saving, start working for what you want and what you desire and where you want to be. If you want to find yourself in heaven, let's make this spiritual, then you're not going to wait till the last moment and then try to turn to God because that that last moment may come before you know it. Turn to God now and make preparations for an eternity now. The Hebrew writer would say today if you hear his voice. Solomon is showing us that it's important to be a person of honor, to be a person of integrity, to be a person who is faithful to himself, faithful to to his friends, and faithful to God, a person of wisdom, of discernment, of prudence. Thank you for joining us today for Proverbial Wisdom. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for, for your love. Father, I ask you to be with us through this day, whether this is the beginning of the day or the middle of the day or even towards the end of the day. Father, we thank you for being with us, and we pray that you continue to be with us and help us to be your people. Help us to be people of integrity, of honor, of prudence. People who look to you for wisdom and apply the things that we learn from you to our lives so that we can walk in a way that is that is best. 
Father, forgive us when we fall short, and we thank you for that forgiveness that's in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And again, thank you for joining us for these moments of proverbial wisdom. I do look forward to these. I hope you are as well. I hope they're challenging you to be a better person. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in.